With an eye on China, three major Hollywood studios are taking stakes in a startup from Hong Kong. Mobile game developer Fifth Journey was founded just over a year ago by Eric Tan. A former sales executive at Electronics Arts in Asia, Tan was responsible for bringing Despicable Me's Minion Rush to China. It's one of the most successful interactive entertainment platforms to enter the market. Players can purchase movie tickets, stream clips, and even buy merchandise like t-shirts and toys. So for the fans, it's, it's very simple. It's a, it's a, it's a one-stop shop um, uh, that relates to the IP all within one click. For Hollywood, it's an entertainment solu solution where we converge all these different auxiliary revenues line uh, all within the app. Interactives, including games, make up almost a third of movie revenue streams. And with China's online gaming sector growing annually at an average 30 percent for the past eight years, it's little wonder Hollywood wants to get in on the act. Chinese box office receipts have grown nearly 50 percent in the past two years. If the trend continues, it'll overtake the U.S. by 2018. Added to that, Chinese consumers have leapfrogged the West with 600 million Internet users, with 80 percent of them accessing the Internet through smart devices. But not every blockbuster game out of the U.S. translates into success in China. One thing that we've learned is that Chinese uh, gamers' behavior could be very different uh, to that in the West. We had uh, just a difficulty. We had to change certain monetization uh, mechanics in order to suit the local taste. And there are challenges around publication. iOS and Google Play are the main mobile retail channels in the U.S., but China's has hundreds of different platforms. And so movie makers from the U.S. are likely to collaborate more and more with the mainland, much like the industry in Hong Kong has already done. I think the past 10 years, actually a lot of success for the Hong Kong movie is actually a, a co-produced film f with the mainland um, the film industry. Um, it kind of um, um, moved toward one direction. Um, it's always entertaining and, and, and always for the mainland market. One thing's for sure, Tinseltown will be rolling out more red carpets to win over Chinese consumers. Pamela Ambler in Hong Kong for CCTV.